Yes, then you bang a bimbo on the sidelines. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Look, I loved high school football and I love gymnastics. Hey, Jack from Idlewood in New Santos. Yeah, how come you don't talk about the best sport of all, horse racing? I mean, tiny, angry people on horses? How can you go wrong? Hey, I don't ride anything bigger than me, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's why I never got in a rodeo, man. I mean, first off, why would you ride a bull? Go find a big girl. They they, they, they can use the attention. And, and that's all we have time for. Okay, hey, I'm Derek Zachary. Till next time, play safe, people. Go, baby, go team. You're listening to WCTR. Or maybe you aren't. Maybe you became so offended that the tight end zone has no female callers that you change stations. I know I would, and have. I'm not here anymore. Opinions are free, which is why we're here. It's news and talk that our sponsors agree on. WCTR. Sometimes the law is not enough. Did you file the subpoena in the McPherson case? No, it wasn't urgent. I filed an AO440. AO440? I know, I know. So I went shopping for these loafers. Has anyone got a stapler? I've got a lot of forms, and there's a slight reason here. Law, because paperwork is dramatic. Catch it Thursdays on Weasel before it catches you. And now, the number one show for vegetables on the radio. Gardening with Maurice. Okay, we are back in the garden. I'm Maurice, and we must answer nature's call. Going to the phones. Greetings, garden lover. What's your name? Hi, my name's Trish. Okay, is that short for Patricia? Uh, yeah. Oh, then what I ask is what your name was, not the nickname your skinhead boot-wearing friends call you at the rallies. Maybe you should do less drugs and learn to try a bit harder. Next! Caller. Hi, my name is Colleen, and my husband has a topiary problem. Ooh, this sounds serious. Well, he started off small scale, just recreational usage, you know, doing horses and cockroaches, the odd unicorn, but it's kind of gotten out of control. Mm, how so? He just can't stop. I mean, people think it's all fun and games, but what happens when the party stops? What happens then? Okay, just, just hold the phone. Hold the phone and get a grip, okay? At my house, when the party stops, we pay the gimp, get rid of the sailors, and 15 men start crying in unison. Well, that's your business. My husband's reached bottom. It's terrible. Giraffes, lions, elephants, rhinos, all of them carved out of hedges. Penguins, dogs, velociraptors, you name it, he's made a leafy version. What could be more natural than a man trimming a hedge into the shape of an animal? Very therapeutic. Makes a man feel like a god. When you can twist nature to your own perverse entertainment, then you know we've won. Eat me, Darwin. But now he's trimming bushes into a spaceship, a rocket, and a lance. He runs around with hedge clippers and screams, trim that bush at our neighbors. He even fashioned a shrub into a kangaroo with a pouch, and he sleeps inside it some nights. Oh, he's freaking out on bush. He needs help. Please. You gotta help me. I hate hedges. Well, the Romans love topiary and look at their contributions to society. But as they say, if the grass is greener in the other fella's yard, then you bang his college son when the dad's out of town. Okay, next caller. Whoops, hold on a second, I'm blossoming. There we go, all done. My name's Henry. I want- Are you blossoming? I, uh, I guess I am. I've really come into my own in the past few months since I joined a cult and began tithing money in exchange for spiritual happiness and letting everyone take turns on my wife. Anyway, I have a lovely garden, mostly carnivorous plants. A Venus flytrap reminds me of my mother. She's in prison now. Anyway, it's so fascinating how it catches animals and eats them. I started with flies, and now mine can swallow a whole squirrel or a small horse if I chop it in half first. Have you tried any experiences? Experiments on human beings. Yeah, I've been working on that. Good man! Good man! See, the secret of nature is once something is at the height of beauty and potential, it is time for it to wither and die. A bit like the British Empire. Just look at that whole place withering and dying right before our eyes.
Hey, guess what? It's low. Make a full hat. Did government have anything to say about it with that damn Proposition 421? Tobacco is a plant, people! And, and, and if it comes out of the ground, we should be able to smoke it. Like coal and opium. Next caller. Yeah, I got a question. Why is everybody on the radio named Maurice? God, I pray to the great gardener in the sky that you've been fixed. I hope they sniffed your nuts off, because spreading your seed could be a disaster. Do you, do you have a question? A question? God, some vegetables and tarts. Yeah, that guy was talking about bugs and plants that eat them. I got a better solution. Put pesticide in the sprinklers.